Let's draw the E and Z configurations of 2-bromo, 3-chloro, 2-butene. Now, the official IUPAC name should have been but-2-ene, but this is how the question was sent to me. We're going to roughly draw what we think this molecule is going to look like, and then we'll figure out the isomers. But is a four-carbon chain. Ene is a double bond, and that, too, tells us the double bond starts at the second carbon. So, carbon, 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 carbon double bond from carbon two to the next one, which is three. Now I also have some substituents here. I've got two bromo and three chloro. Now I do see why there are isomers here. We have a double bond and, and you can't rotate around a double bond. So whether I drew the BR and the CL on the same side of the double bond is different than if they were on opposite sides of the double bond. But you're here to get help figuring out which one's E and which one's Z. Am I right? Let's just draw that molecule again. I've got a CL and a CH3 on that carbon. I've got a BR and a CH3 on that carbon. Then I'm going to draw the other one here. I'm going to put CH3 on top and CL. And I'm going to put BR here and CH3. You can see that these are different isomers. In fact, you might off the top of your head recognize this is a cis isomer because you have two CH3 groups which are identical on the same side of the axis of the double bond. And here, CH3s are on opposite sides. But you're here for E and Z. E and Z designations require con ingold prelog priority naming, or like, you know, priority groups. Your job is to look at the branch points across the double bond. Here's a carbon. And then you go one atom in either direction, like down the branches. It's BR versus carbon. I don't care what else is connected to the carbon yet. What matters is the very first atom in the branch, compare those two. If they're different, the higher atomic mass is the higher priority. So my higher priority group here is the BR. If those had been the same, then I would move on to whatever that atom is connected to, etc., etc. But there is a difference. BR is not carbon. So we're fine. We'll go to the other branch point, chlorine versus carbon. Those are different. So we can stop here and be like, oh, chlorine has the higher atomic mass. So it's the higher priority group. If the higher priority groups are on the same side of the molecule, you have the Z isomer. The official name here is Z2-bromo-3-chloro-butene. I'm really not, I really don't feel like writing all of that out. So I'm just going to give you the dot, dot, dot. And we'll do it over here. From this carbon, we branch. Bromine has the higher atomic mass of bromine versus carbon. And at the other branch point, chlorine versus carbon, chlorine has it. If the two higher priority groups are on opposite sides of the horizontal axis of the double bond, you got yourself the E isomer. So you call it E2-bromo-3-chloro-2-butene or whatever. Cool. Again, I, I personally don't draw one molecule knowing it's E or Z. Instead, I draw both of the isomers and then label them after the fact. It's because I'm visual and I like looking physically at what, the, what atoms are there to compare the two and figure out which one's the higher priority group. If you're asked for both E and Z, draw them both and then just label it after. If you're asked for just one, Honestly, I would draw them both, label them, and then cross out the one I wasn't asked for. It's the same amount of work. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.